Howdy folks, this is Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. It's great to be back with you. Today we're going to look at fast-growing nut trees, and one in particular, our favorite, is the heart nut or Japanese walnut that we planted. We got them from Edible Landscaping, and we planted them about, oh, about eight years ago. And at the seventh year they began putting out nuts which is pretty good for a tree that started off as basically chest high and now is about eight feet beautiful tree the leaves look like that of the the um, tree of heaven that's how it got its name juglans alantifolia named after the tree of heaven alanthus alitissima we are very impressed with the qualities of this tree and as the edible landscaping folks have detailed on their website, it has a lot of wonderful features such as pest resistance, disease resistance, deer resistance. It is tolerant of sun. It's quasi tolerant of the shade. It cannot stand the salt. You may be in a coastal area, it may not do so well near the coast, but otherwise it's also, um, it's self-fertilizing. You don't need to have an alternate, uh, you know, female, male to, to be fertilizing it. And it's just a great low maintenance tree. We set it out back in 2013 and just planted it in a nice hole, made a nice hole. But after that, we more or less just let it grow. We didn't do anything special to maintain it and it's done really great. So it is, um, it is time to look at when it's harvest time, we just crossed into fall, and I have taken off the shell, and one of the features of this great tree is that the shell comes off so easily, as opposed to, say, a black walnut, which <laughs> just getting the husk off. When I say the shell, I mean the husk. Getting the husk off, right? And this thing, I'm just using my thumb and um, extracting the nut here. Now, the nut is also easier to crack than your typical walnut. And ordinarily, by the way, you see a stain on my fingers. I would use, um, if I was doing a lot of these, I'd be using gloves because it can really stain your fingers pretty well. And the point of it is getting this husk off is to keep this black stuff from going inside the shell and staining the actual um, interior, staining the, the nut inside. We don't want to have that happen. Once you get this off, you can take a brush and just get off the, um, the loose stuff. Then I'll probably give this a little bit of a wash, a little bit of a scrub as well in water. Then we find a dark, well-ventilated location like a garage, maybe, um, maybe a basement if it's not too, too humid. <laughs> Don't want any mold growing on it but a nice ventilated um, space and we'll put it in a basket and let it just cure for two to three weeks and that should do it. Then we'll get them out and try them out and we'll let you all know how they taste because we've had a little sampling. They say it tastes like Brazil nuts from what I tried, just a little bit of a pretty fresh nut. It, um, it did not taste like that. It tasted good, but it did not taste like a Brazil nut. It was more like a nice butternut flavor. So if you guys have any questions about fast-growing trees, especially fast-growing nut trees, let us know. Just subscribe up there on our YouTube site. Hit the alert bell, and we will send you all kinds of information as we develop it. But if you have any thoughts or comments about fast-growing nut trees, please send them in, either up on the, um, the YouTube site or in our Facebook site. We'd love to hear from you. So, happy gardening, everybody. Enjoy this beautiful fall. We'll look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. So long.